The grand economic debate of our time is reaching an inflection point, a pivotal juncture where the path forward remains shrouded in uncertainty. As the Federal Reserve's battle against stubbornly high inflation rages on, a flurry of recent data points to a cooling economy, hinting at the possibility of a long-awaited respite from the relentless march of higher borrowing costs. This week's cascade of lukewarm economic indicators has further muddied the waters, adding grist to the mill of those advocating for a pause in the Fed's aggressive rate-hiking campaign. From lackluster home construction to underwhelming manufacturing output, the signs of a moderating growth trajectory are hard to ignore. At the heart of this economic maelstrom lies the delicate balancing act between taming inflationary pressures and averting an outright recession. The Fed's hawkish stance, with interest rates elevated to levels unseen in over two decades, has undoubtedly taken a toll on consumer demand and business investment. Yet, the central bank remains resolute in its commitment to wrestle inflation back within its 2% target range, even at the risk of inflicting short-term pain. The housing market, a bellwether of economic vitality, has been particularly hard hit by the Fed's monetary tightening. Builders, confronted with soaring mortgage rates and wavering consumer confidence, have curtailed new construction, with permit authorizations plummeting to their lowest levels since last summer. The once-sizzling real estate landscape now appears to be cooling, a testament to the far-reaching impact of the Fed's policy decisions. Manufacturing, too, has struggled to gain traction, caught in the crosshairs of rising input costs and uneven demand. The Institute for Supply Management's closely watched manufacturing index dipped back into contraction territory in April, underscoring the sector's fragility amid the broader economic headwinds. Yet, amidst these disquieting signals, a glimmer of hope has emerged from an unlikely source, the consumer. Retail sales data, while exhibiting signs of moderation, have remained remarkably resilient, buoyed by the robust labor market and a lingering appetite for discretionary spending. This resilience has been a lifeline for an economy grappling with the consequences of restrictive monetary policy. It is against this backdrop that the Federal Reserve finds itself at a crossroads, weighing the delicate balance between achieving its inflation objectives and safeguarding economic growth. The recent deceleration in core inflation, coupled with the softening economic data, has emboldened market participants to speculate on the prospect of an imminent pivot, a shift from the Fed's hawkish stance to a more accommodative posture. However, the central bank's policymakers remain steadfast in their resolve, reiterating the need for patience and allowing the restrictive measures to exert their full impact. Fed Chair Jerome Powell, in a candid assessment, underscored the importance of letting restrictive policy do its work, a sentiment echoed by his fellow officials. As we navigate this uncharted economic terrain, it becomes increasingly clear that the path ahead is riddled with complexities and trade-offs. The Fed's ability to engineer a soft landing, a scenario where inflation is tamed without triggering a severe economic downturn, will be a testament to the dexterity of its policymakers and the resilience of the American economy. In the midst of this uncertainty, one truth remains self-evident, the stakes have never been higher. The Fed's actions, or inactions, will reverberate across households and businesses, shaping the trajectory of the nation's economic fortunes for years to come. It is a weighty responsibility, one that demands a judicious balancing of competing priorities and a clear-eyed assessment of the ever-evolving economic landscape. As we await the Fed's next move, the American people find themselves in a familiar position, hopeful for a return to economic stability, yet wary of the potential pitfalls that lie ahead. It is a delicate dance, one that will require patience, prudence, and an unwavering commitment to safeguarding the long-term prosperity of our nation. In the end, the true measure of success will not be found in the ephemeral fluctuations of economic indicators, but rather in the enduring strength and resilience of the American spirit. For it is this spirit, a spirit of innovation, perseverance, and unwavering optimism, that has propelled our nation through countless challenges and will continue to guide us through the turbulent waters that lie ahead.